Hello, hello, konnichiwa, this is Etsuna, and today we are back with new Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Chapter 3 Daily Life, uh, Nighttime, yeah. So, last episode we got to do a free time event with good old Tenko, it was very lovely, much better than the past, um, free time event with her. No, no hands, uh, no physical contact, which was nice. And, um, now, I guess, since it is nighttime, it is our time to go train with Kaito. Shuichi's very special moment. The only reason he wakes up in the morning. I'm just kidding. Uh, but okay, what are you doing here, Angie? Huh? Shuichi, where are you going? Um, uh, nowhere in particular. <laughs> well, wow, great job lying. What about you, Angie? Angie Oh, I was just talking to the others. <coughs> talking? Mane. Since they can't hear out to his voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. <coughs> Oh, I see. Atua was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone? I wonder what she means by that. She says that she'll work with everyone, but then she doesn't talk about it to like half the cast. She doesn't even try convincing them. She just knows that they're not gonna listen. <laughs> Bayona, Shuichi. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh man, I have a bad feeling about this. Himiko's magic show is Angie's idea as well. What is she planning this time? Yeah, it's hard to categorize Angie as an antagonist, cause, like, I guess in the sense of like an antagonist, she's. Uh, I wouldn't really call her an antagonist, more like an obstacle character. Um, if I'm getting my good old <laughs> book report knowledge down um just because like she's not the bad guy in this whole story she's just make like she's just diverting the protagonists and like the everyone else's attention in a different direction from where they should be focused on and yeah so I, angie's character is really cool and um really interesting to think about in those kinds of um, in those terms. Uh, okay, can we check out Maggie's door? I'm sure we're going to train today. I should head to the courtyard. Okay, let's head to the courtyard. Yeah, but man, I didn't realize it started this soon. <laughs> it looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Ooh, look at that. Oh no, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> Oh, this is like one of the only times that we get to see this CG without anyone there. That's cool. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, he headbutted me. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Uh. Her. Turns out he brought, I don't know, Himiko. <laughs> just out of nowhere. It would have been cool if, yeah, oh, I just thought of like the kind of weird dynamic it would have been if, um... I don't know if Maki had died, if Maki didn't have her whole like assassin reveal and if she had died in place of Tenko or uh, well not exactly that but like if Maki just was a normal character and then um, if chapter 3 killed off Himiko instead of Tenko like would Tenko have been kind of like the next sidekick or like yeah, I would like we could have had the training buddies as these three like if Maki's story did go as it is going in this story plus um like tenko's our newest sidekick in chapter four because she lost himiko and all that kind of stuff and like she's trying to hide her real emotion uh, i don't know i'll need to think on that but like it, i don't know it would have been cool to have tenko um go through a complete character development <laughs> but sorry this isn't about her this is about maki <coughs> maki why is maki here so that's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. And then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Wow, you see able to grab the ultimate assassin's arm. Bag. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? Huh? But, sh but Kaito, I thought this was our romance. Training the three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? Baka baka shi. This is stupid. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> you calling this stupid? 
Ego. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. Yeah, we gotta get that training montage in here somewhere. And that's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. <laughs> so you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. <laughs> of all the examples you could have picked. <laughs> Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is still stupid. I'm going back. Mother. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was a hero, that's just from my perspective. Yeah, I feel like what Kaito says could really be, um, really be referenced in real life. Like, yeah, even super pets think of themselves as heroes. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So yeah, you don't have to worry about anyone else. Uh, well, I mean, you should, but, like, it's- at the end of the day, it's your story, and it's up to you to make it a positive story, or just a gloomy, boring story. So act more like it. Nah. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? It's called friendship, Maki. We even helped you in the trial, <laughs> come on. No. You can soften up to us. How long are you gonna run away? Eh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Oh, I wish we could see a CG. Mm -hmm. With like the little plants in the background. Oh. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I don't know. You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Oh. <laughs> no. Hey, what's your enemy? Huh? Huh? My enemy? Talk you. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Ego. So, how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Eh? Run away? Yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, <laughs> I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Ah, Kaito. Ah, Kaito pep talks are the best. They just make everyone happy. I mean, except in this case. <laughs> Maki is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oi. So, what are you gonna do? Momotaku. Hey, Kaito, it's okay, you don't have to. Bakata. Fine, I'll do it. Uh? Huh? You'll do it? <laughs> Shuichi. Dattara. Don't get the wrong idea. You'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> so you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. <laughs> <gasps> you, you don't get it at all. Aw, I love their dynamic. This whole trio <laughs> is the best. Whatever, you just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Nah. Well, what are we doing first? <clears throat> Alright, first 100 push-ups. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Starting off <laughs> really hard. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Aww. Aww. Nothing makes me more happy than seeing, um, seeing this whole CG. Okay, the Japanese one sounds a lot better in terms of, you know, the. <laughs> it just sounds a bit, a little bit more normal, I guess, in this context than the English one. Oh, the Japanese one kind of like what he said. I don't exactly know how to translate it, but it sounds more like he's feeling better, which could be a reference to him being sick. Like, yeah, yeah, it's basically like he's saying that he's feeling great today, 
but like the way he phrased it kind of makes it seem like he wasn't that great before or like at a different time. Look at her. We love her. We love her here. <laughs> oh, it's it's just amazing. Like the whole Yes. I like that it's like a moving CG too, even though it's just two CGs put together. It still looks really cool. No! Shuichi Sahoge. Kore de Ide Show. One hundred, I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. Masaka! Y you're done already? <laughs> well, I mean, you should have expected at least this. I mean, it's not a lie that she's the ultimate assassin. I guess, um, in terms of obviously very major spoilers for the end of the game, but, um, it, it would have been, like, interesting to see Maki's audition if we are going with that, like, everyone audition to be a part of V3, then like Maki would have to be really strong because there's no way to like, like you can fabricate a backstory with like the memory stuff. I feel like it'd be hard to fabricate the actual physical strength. So Maki would actually like in real life, yeah, like the real Maki, not the V3 Maki would still be really strong and like, yeah, still be composed and everything. So <laughs> it's kind of cool. No. You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. <laughs> the little sass that Maki always has is great. <laughs> before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... <laughs> sure. Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with? Ne. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Oh! Okay, we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. Aww. <laughs> Come on, Maki. We'll be your friends. <laughs> Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Talk Jeez, you. why has she gotta be so difficult? Nah. Hey, Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Mm -hmm. If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. <laughs> if someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. <laughs> weak and suffering? Maki? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that sense, you're... Yeah. No, your case is a little different. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? Aw, that's... Nice, yeah, like Shuichi's case is a little different from Maki. It's very different contexts too. But yeah. Aw, <laughs> Kaito's such a great character. So are you. Oh. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. Yeah. Nice try, Kaito. Aw. Kaito up Ka yeah. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Oh wow, so they did like 150 push-ups. Wow, yeah, like honestly, I've seen a lot of people talk about um, the Danganronpa S and like, oh well, Shuichi must be ripped, and I'm pretty sure he's kind of covered up um, in the in his beach outfit, which I do like. I like those kinds of hoodie. Um, swimsuit type things those are my favorite um and yeah i knew right from the beginning that they were making um swimsuit outfits that shuichi would have those kinds of hoodies i know that kokichi and nagito have uh one too i'm trying my best not to take a look at them just because i don't want to really spoil myself too much about the details like i yeah i don't know it's the weird kind of part of like i don't want to spoil myself but i also do and yeah um but yeah, yeah, Shuichi and Kaito are probably some of the strongest, at least out of this class. I think them and uh, maybe Rontaro Kokichi is obviously pretty strong, and obviously Maki would be the most ripped. I think Maki and Tenko, yeah. And obviously Gonta. 
Ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Mm. Kaito bringing Maki, he really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Aww. <laughs> Kaito, you really are something else. Yep. Yeah. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Aww, that's great. It's a great way to sleep. And Monodam Theater. Oh! <laughs> no more Monokuma. Like, he's just gone. Now we just get Monodam Theater. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Curious? Curious what we Monocubs do when you're not around? Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. <laughs> when we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. Okay. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air conditioned room. Oh, that's so nice. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. Oh, aww. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was just thinking, like, this is probably just random and um, I'm sure it was lost in translation because I'm pretty sure this Kyo, um, Kyo Kurekyo's, yeah, his dislike is air conditioning, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be more like air purifier or something along those lines. Maybe, I'll have to check the Japanese one, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool to see that and then <laughs> Like the, of course it's chapter three, which is why I'm pointing it out, but yeah, an air conditioned room. Um, but that probably means more like an actual air conditioner, air con. Um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why that just slipped my mind, or that one in my mind. See, we're all such good friends, we're always together. No two of you are dead. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> right off the bat, we're doing this. Okay. Um. Well, we have this again. I think you all should know what this means. But um, I think we can leave that to the next episode. This, yeah, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave this to the next episode because it's gonna be a handful, and I don't want. Uh, yeah, one very fun and innocent um, thing to be mixed in with this. But yes, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about the training trios finally getting together their first exercise, doing push-ups together. It is absolutely heart, heart squeezing. I don't <laughs> it, it's making me very happy. Okay, I'm very happy. So much serotonin. <laughs> We're doing great. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!